What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the run that we had left in the previous day. We're trying to help this mercenary lady. I think she's an assassin from what I remember. I've looked at all the unlocks and everything and I'm pretty sure she's an assassin. She probably has some kind of super awesome assassination ability like going invisible or doing something crazy. We'll fight these guards over here. Hopefully we make it out of it without- oh my god, they're everywhere. They're everywhere! Oh my god, and they've dug in my archer again. I don't know why the game does this. It really is like a super annoying feature. Like that right there, just change that. Like why is my archer always so, like start surrounded? It's like, <laughs> come on now, come on now. Oh good, we got a crit right there. Which means, I don't think that actually matters right there. They do have a lot of heavily armored guys though. This is like a really big fight for us. An unfortunate fight, to be honest. I'm going to try and lock him in combat, I guess. And then... I don't have any potions. I don't have any backup abilities. He's going to take an attack of opportunity if he tries to move outside the... Hex. And I have no way to get him out on this turn, I don't think. Like, on this side, I think I would prefer to just go for maybe the double strike and the kill. Yeah. And then over here... So he's got an AP. It's not like a helpful AP, but it's an AP. I think I might have to do that. Hopefully he dodges or something. I mean, he probably won't, but... Now if I do that, I can bring back Melek on one side. Oh my god, there it is. So, already, the best laid plans, I swear. The best laid plans in this game. Like, the things I try to accomplish that unfortunately never come to fruition. I'm gonna plant him right there, I suppose. That's perfectly fine. As long as they hang out over here and fight with each other, I don't mind. He's going to miss right there, so at least his luck is equally as bad as mine. The unfortunate side of this is that he does have guard up now, though, which means he's going to get, like, counterattacks and all kinds of fun stuff. Hopefully, make the swing. Uh, okay, so I should have specified better. Make the swing and kill the enemy. I should have specified better. It's my fault. I gave him instructions that were too difficult to follow. With Theogol, let's get hacking. Okay, and so a little bit of damage done right there. I'm going to leave Theogal in play for right now. I'm going to try and go for a free kill right there so that he gets his AP back. And my next goal is actually to lay him out because he's got a reflective shieldy thing going on. And so I would prefer to limit my chances here. Yeah, either way. You just miss so much in this game that unfortunately... Like, you can't really make decent plans. I, I try my best. I really do. I try my best, but unfortunately with the way the game is, you miss like... A huge percentage of the time so we just got to kind of live with the fact that you can make a plan but if the people can't make the execution or they can't hit the hit that they're trying to do it all just sort of falls apart hopefully we get a kill right there otherwise our archers toast all right we've still got everybody up we still got everybody up we're still managing to keep people interested I suppose I mean we're not looking so great we spent a lot of money on random healing because we haven't gotten any healing items on this run either I would prefer that maybe we make a run for... You examine the place and a stone hand grabs you through the wall magically and injures you. Okay. Oh good, how Ferris is dead, but he's not actually dead because he died to like a random event, I guess. Oh no, he does count as dead. Okay, he's actually dead and gone. I think this run is actually coming to a close, so I think we may as well... I mean, we can go for the next map and just kind of like see what happens. The next map is the Barbarian Mountains where you'll find yourself fighting all kinds of fun little enemies. If you thought the enemies were rough before this, the ones after it are definitely much, much worse. Singing contest, we don't have Zoe. Let's talk to the waitress. See if we can get anything out of this. So there it is. That's what I was hoping would be in the game sooner. So unfortunately, if I want to keep this run going, I like have to do this right now, so... I would love, 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 love to at least unlock a new mercenary in this playthrough. That would be 
absolutely stellar because it means that this run is now productive if I can make that happen. So let's use that on the main character. And the other one on him, I guess. All I really care about is if we can unlock the Assassin Mercenary, I'd be a lot more happy because I want to check this out. Cottage Ruins. We hear the troops that are escorting me to my target. The pig will pay for trying to double-cross me. So now we get to check her out and see what she does. What does she do? Backstab. An attack that deals a critical hit when the Assassin is invisible. You are invisible until the next turn. Okay, so she... You cannot be attacked and you are not subject to a melee penalty. Okay. Does it cost an AP to use that? I would assume that it... So... The math here is not lining up. If that costs an AP, how are you expected to go stealth, come up on somebody and hit them? What I think this means is that the enemy has to be adjacent to you already. You have to like smoke bomb and then stab them from out of stealth. So I guess this is actually pretty limited in its application. It's probably more useful as an evasive ability, my guess would be. Let's start... Oh my god, please hit the target. I would love it if you would hit the target for once in your just awful, miserable little life. If you could hit the target, that would be great. Alright, so that's taken care of. On this side, I did not know there was going to be an archer right there. I would not have done this. I would have gone straight for the archer had I known. Unfortunately, it's just something that we're going to have to live with at this point. At least we'll unlock a character. We're not going to do progression today, but we're definitely going to unlock a character, I think. He's going to dodge. My hit rate is killing me right now. Like, the extra damage you get from the counterattack is just, like, brutal. So brutal. Like, typically in turn-based games, counterattack is a thing you have to, like, level up and spec into. Oh my god, there's another one over there. Okay. Funsies. Fight is worse than I expected. We may not be okay. Contrary to my previous belief. Oh, she does stay. I guess it's until the end of your next turn. Okay, so now the math lines up. That's fine. There we go. We'll get him out of the way. At least attempt to get him out of the way. Can't really move around too much because of the overwatch. Alright, so there's that. The overwatch is not like super long range, but it is still kind of like a pain long range. So I guess we're just going to have to eat it. Because as long as he's got that up and standing, I can't... I can't sacrifice an entire turn of not DPSing, basically. Like, I have to get damage on these guys. Otherwise, on the next turn, Melek runs the pretty good chance of getting himself offed. I should add him guard, but it doesn't matter. He's got a lot of people in front of him. It'll be okay. We got a knockback right there. And then he's going to step forward. That is going to hurt us, because I think it puts him... outside the movement range of the Assassin as well, which is problematic. No, never mind. The Assassin's still good. Go for the 100% backstab. I may level this character up because she's awesome. I like rogues. Let me take a couple stabs at this guy right here. Awesome! And so, in victory, Theogal has fallen down and died. He has hurt himself and given himself a boo-boo. The amount of problems that arise from me missing strikes in this game. In the end, you're more resourceful than I thought. If I recall correctly, you mentioned a quest with a nice reward on top of it, right? Okay, and so now we've unlocked the... I think she's an assassin? I think is what she's supposed to be. Pretty sure. Didn't do a whole lot of upgrades on this run, but then again... Eh. Didn't get a whole lot of drops either, and I didn't really want to spend money on them, so... Things happen when they happen in this game. Do we have anything... I think we had already been here, right? Yeah, we'd already bought out their entire stock. I think it's a lot. We didn't get a lot of support items on this run either. This was actually, as far as the roguelike element goes, we actually had really, really bad luck with our drops. We'll harvest that right there, so that gives us gold. We have enemies on both sides right there. Neither of those combats shall we survive. 
But it looks like we're going to have to. Looks like we have no option. Okay, so that's just a potion shop. Yep, our bad luck continues on this run. It's okay, there's good runs and bad runs, I suppose. I don't want to fight the barbarians because I know I have no chance right there. I suppose I could go back and res somebody. Just to give myself the extra little oomph to maybe make it past the next encounter. Let's see here. We don't have Zoe, so the singing contest is a bust. We need two gold for that. I'll sell that off because obviously we're not going to be able to upgrade anything to level three. And, well, I might have been able to if I had sold some other stuff. There's an achievement, and it unlocks the third tier of your character if you can... I'll probably get rid of these runes. I'm just trying to make this work. I'm not really trying to do a progression run right now, so I know people are out there grinding their teeth and getting frustrated with me. But that's not really the point at this point. Basically, I'm resigned to the fact that we're going to lose this time. We just didn't get the items we need. Our, our loot drops were very, very bad on the front end. And so we didn't end up with any potions the entire game. We don't have any potions. And then on top of that, we didn't get a whole lot of restoratives either. So that mixed with, you know, the number of misses we had early on and just kind of random bad things happening, I think has left us in a position where progression is not going to happen today. In fact, I don't even think we're going to get an attempt in on the Black Knight. I doubt that that's going to happen, but this might get us through the next encounter. I used to go on my own. Oh, I'm used to go on my own. I thought she was like, I used to go on my own. I'm like, what do you mean? Like to the bathroom? Yeah, I go on my own too. Did you like regress? Did you forget how to do that? Or like what occurred there? Because that seems a little confusing. I'd rather fight the guard than the barbarians. The barbarians can be kind of nasty. See, now this one, it started us like at a really dominant position. It just seems sort of like, it seems sort of random the way you end up distributed on the map in this game. <laughs> I'm going to leave him right here to kill this guy off just in case he tries to move. On the plus side, Hal Ferris may come through and just murder the hell out of him, or he'll shoot for minimum damage twice and will accomplish nothing. Put him on guard mode. Put him on guard mode. Have her look around slightly, but yeah. I just want like a barricade in between me and the enemy right now. People that can like defend themselves. Where did he get his one armor from? I don't recall upgrading him. Oh, we got this guy right here. This guy's nasty. Okay, so this is one of the bigger, badder bruiser knights. If I could get enough bees into that sentence. But seriously, the bigger, badder bruiser knights are all terrible. That sounds like a cartoon from when, like the 1980s. Like a cartoon from the late 90s. I'm sorry, from the early 90s or late 80s. Bigger, badder bruiser knights. They would have their own toy line that, of course, you had to purchase because, obviously, that's the reason why cartoons get made. If he can sunder off both of those armors, that would be great. Okay, so both the armors have now been sundered. This doesn't proc an attack of opportunity, does it? It appears as though it does not. However, that being the case... Oh, we had an overwatched archer back there. Please don't miss. Yep. Yeah. God, this game, this game is just utterly killing me. It is just, I'm pretty sure I've got an ulcer shape. Oh, twice? Two 90% in a row? Come on, no! What are you doing? Do your job, I paid you money. Oh God, this is my life. This is my life. I think I just faced her weird, too, which is... Well, at least somebody made the swing. God. I mean, it wasn't the person that I wanted to, but at least somebody tried. Shouldn't that proc a double attack of opportunity? Okay, I was going to say, let's make sure that this is all occurring like it's supposed to. I like the fact that the enemy's luck is equally as bad as mine, though, so that's nice. Kill him, please. Ah, uh, no. Oh, good. Theogal decided to be especially dodgesome. Oh my god. <laughs> this is my life. I don't get excited about anything in this game because you always lose. Like, somehow you're just going to miss the shot. The worst thing is going to happen. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> this game is slowly killing me. And a little bit of XP. At least we got Jetta up to a little bit higher. That's good. 
God. I search you, cave. We found a Cortinarius oral anus. I think oral anus did something for us. Yeah, that fight's not going to happen. That fight's definitely not going to happen. I guess I'll give her health since I don't like any of the other options. What did this do? I don't remember. Let's find out. Oh, it hurts. Okay. So I know I've tried that out before. The Cortilaris Oralanus, but... I guess I'll fight them. We're probably going to lose right here. I think the Barbarians, if I remember right, they like heal or something every time that you hit them. Or every time they hit you. or I don't know. It's weird. It's weird and it's scary. I kind of feel like I probably should have dropped, and I also feel like, oh, there's no enemy over there? All right, we'll go over to this side then. Sell your life for the Commonwealth. I'm going to go for the kill down here because we don't really have much of an option. And I'm going to try and bait this guy into some ranged fire before we do anything else. Give ourselves like an opportunity to set up and wait for him. Unless there's somebody over here, too. If there's somebody over here, too, we're going to die. He puts himself in guard mode, which is going to make his dodge that much more dodgy. I'm going to put him right here. We'll drop that right there. I need somebody else to handle this armor. I forgot to use disguise again. I just thought about that. I forgot to use disguise again. I'm the worst player on Earth. I am just terrible. Oh, he gets a counterattack. Okay, so we learned something new today. Counterattacks happen. Oh, it's from the guard. It's from guard. Okay. It's not like a natural thing that he does. I wasn't thinking clearly. Now, my goal now would be to sort of like try and lock him into this position. He is a little bit nastier and beefier, but he should take a lot of damage right here if he tries to do anything. Oh, he regenerates armor. Interesting. Okay. Hopefully... Come on, Melek. Yeah, Melek! My guy! That's I try not to get frustrated about the misses because they work in my favor, too. Like, I can only imagine the AI just being like, F K K K K K K K K K when that happens. The exact same thing that I do when that happens. Just, oh my god. The misses. Problems with the misses. I think, like, I'm trying to do as much progression right now as I can. Like, I'm trying to get as far as I can with this playthrough. Just as much XP as I can kind of mash onto each character. But we're going to have to fight the Dark Knight or the Black Knight. Swim and explore Melek. Okay. Everyone is taken aback when Melek offered to explore the place, so it seems his talents are genuine. A minute later, he comes back holding something. Interesting. So he came back with a bunch of potions. Don't think they're going to save us at this point. I think we have utterly no chance of defeating the Black Knight with our current setup. I don't think we have enough consumables, and I don't think we have enough... The Black Knight raises some peculiar problems. You'll all see in just a second, so I'll give that to my guy. We'll put the weapon rune on him. And that's about it for us. I mean, since we're about to die anyways... I could just vendor everything and we could get like a rest in, you know what I mean? To make everybody feel at least a little bit better before we go against the Black Knight. But... I guess I'll use that on Melek. And... Do I have any way to get him back up? Like one person is all that it takes. Like if we had... No, we have no other way to get him back up. Okay. We don't have any money to gamble on the singing either, or I totally would, just to see if maybe we could bring it home properly. Ah, oh, well, you'll all get to... The nice thing about this is you'll all get to see the Dark Knight, at least, so... The Dark Knight is kind of an interesting character in that... We gotta figure out what side of the map he's on first. The Dark Knight is kind of a unique character... ...for a number of reasons. The first and foremost being, he moves like a million spaces in one turn. And I'm not kidding you, like this guy can move like all the way over to here in one turn. He's, he's kind of crazy like that. And really, it's tough to circle him in. And in fact, this is a very dominant position right here. Had I known he was on the left, I could have trapped him in. And we would actually have a decent run at actually killing him. 
Unfortunately, that will now not be the case. But the Dark Knight has a couple of problems. He has three AP. That's the first thing that you're going to notice that will, like, make you want to cry. And so that means that he can move and double attack, which is bad. It's, it's bad for a number of reasons. He'll probably go for a backstab on him from how I understand how he works. He always goes for a backstab if he can get it. Yep. Unfortunately, we had the opportunity and we failed. I've had to exploit his mechanics now. So basically what I want to do... ...is he regenerates armor as well. He regenerates two armor. He doesn't get attacks of opportunity though, weirdly enough. So there's that at least. I mean, all I can really do right now is guard like so. And what I would try to do anyways is have him guard and then face like this so that he's the one with his back exposed. And then from there, there's not really much else I can do. But yeah, he's got 3 AP. He moves a really, really long distance. He's just got a number of things that he does that are really, really nasty. And in fact, this is the first boss that I faced. Like, the Blink Strike Lady was tough. But this is the first boss that I faced where I'm not really sure how I'm going to beat him. My last two attempts, I've gotten him down to like 20 health. But I just can't seem to get him to do what I want. You know what I mean? Like, you can exploit him around, but sometimes he just doesn't go for the things you want him to. So, for example, I left Melek open on purpose because, by and large, he seems to go for backstabs really, really consistently. But he didn't go for it right there. He went for the kill. So that means that in his AI, that we've learned something here, that his AI goes for the guaranteed kill more than it goes for a backstab. So there's that. I think the thing that actually makes the game kind of difficult is that the AI is really, really smart in this game. Like, occasionally you'll find an enemy here and there that can be exploited, but in the greater case, the enemy seems to do very, very smart things a lot of the time. They see, like, that little move that it's just like, oh, that sucks when they do it. Like, they, I don't know, maybe, maybe I'm just stupid. That's the other half, is maybe I'm just dumb and I don't see it coming. I've never been a chess player or anything, but sometimes they pull stuff on me where I'm like, I totally didn't account for the possibility of that happening, and I thought I knew all your abilities. So anyways... That episode actually went a surprising long amount of time, so I think I'm going to break it off right here. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here for Crown Takers. I'll see you all in the next episode. Take care, everybody, and I swear to God, we will beat this game eventually. I just don't know when it's going to happen. Bye, everybody.